Good evening, Dallas. This is Anu from Desi Plaza TV, and uh, here we are in Angelica Theatre, Plano, experiencing another wonderful movie that's presented by IndieMe. So uh, it's a pleasure to introduce the co-founder of this wonderful experience. <laughs> IndieMe is uh, Tripti Bhatnagar, and uh, so. I just don't have any words, so you're bringing one after the other, these wonderful movies. <laughs> yes, I guess that's our passion and that's what it uh, kind of amounts to, you know. <laughs> we want to share it when we watch a good film. Uh, the idea is to share it with the world because uh, each of these films are, uh, you know, made with a lot of passion. And, uh, you know, social messaging is also very important. So our platform, uh, Indie Memes platform, really is a non-profit, as you know. And it stands uh, for getting these uh, wonderful films and messaging across. So lipstick falls uh, directly into that line. And that is why we are screening that right now. Yeah. <laughs> It's not only just bringing the movies, you also thoroughly like, you know, uh, each movie just, you know, you test it out that it will give a very, very important as well as a message to the community that, uh, you know, they can take home. So, um, so not just this one. So what is our upcoming movie that uh, we are actually going to present next one real quick? Yes, so Anu, we just uh, concluded our uh, Indie Meme Film Festival. It was a four-day event in Austin and we screened about 15 films and we had over nine filmmakers, film crew uh, from India and we Skyped in almost all the filmmakers who were uh, uh, whose films that we were screening. So one of that ge gems that won the Audience Choice Award there, uh, that is the film that we are going to be bringing in. It's called Mukti Bhavan. Uh, Hotel Salvation in uh, English. It had premiered at the Venice uh, Film Festival and uh, it won itself the UNESCO Award. And the filmmaker Shubhashish is uh, only 26 years old and he is already featured in Forbes 30 Under 30. Uh, he has won the Presidential Award. He's won many other awards uh, that is there. So he is one filmmaker to really watch for. And uh, this film, it, it touches on a very morbid topic otherwise of death but the way the filmmaker has dealt with that entire thing uh, it's a father and a son story and he has dealt the whole script in a whisper soft humor all right so you never at any point feel that it's right in your face because the, the movie talks about death it's mukti bhavan so really uh, you know the father is looking for salvation and he thinks that it is time to to um, uh, uh, to die and he's looking for that but uh, how the son in our culture he gives up everything to go and be with him and uh, take him there and then you know what unfolds so it's a beautiful story and the messaging is great and uh, it's one not to miss really it's a beautiful film so most of you if you are uh, looking for the meaning of Mukti Bhavan is uh, in this film specifically because the father's wish is to go to Varanasi Mukti Bhavan like, like he want to find peace at the last moments of his life and then that was his last wish for his son to request like okay I want to but uh, no one knows that when that moment arrives yes. so until then what goes on between a father and son yes, so it's really about uh, it's really about life you know, you have these days with you and and you're waiting for death. But what do you do in those days that are that are there with you? So, yeah, we are <laughs> because if you're not deceased and doctor is not giving you a timeline, <laughs> don't know you know when you're going to die exactly, <laughs> exactly. and it's a very interesting uh, waiting period of life because uh, the son has to leave everything behind yes. to support because that is uh, his last wish right. and uh, it will be a very interesting uh, so and, uh, you know it also shows culturally uh, uh, within our society uh, we have you know the son is supposed to take care and do these things right so it's not that he's saying okay I'm going to put you there and and you know you deal and you wait for your death and you you know whatever he's actually giving up his things and then trying to take care in uh, of the father in his last days and uh, see him through till the you know till the end so are we expecting any of the crew that like you know the director producer any of them will be joining us uh, we are still working on that, so we will know shortly. Uh, if not uh, by, uh, if not physically, then uh, we will try and Skype in the filmmaker. So, any other movie already in line after that, by any chance? Uh, well, we do have uh, one in consideration, which is Shor Se Shurwa, that was also screened in uh, uh, in Indie Meme Film Festival, and uh, that is one film. It's an anthology. It's seven short stories made by seven 
new filmmakers that have been mentored by uh, you know veteran filmmakers like Mira Nair, uh, Zoya Akhtar, Imtiaz Ali. So you have seven stories and they are all in, on the concept of shore, which is noise. So it's a beautiful collection of these seven short stories and we are considering that, uh, that we might uh, uh, screen that. That's wonderful news. So please do keep bringing such a good movies. And uh, so we are looking uh, forward to the next movie. Yes. Definitely, you know, the... Absolutely. Uh, and, you know, I want to thank uh, Desi Plaza and you, Anu, uh, and Krishna Ji and Manohar for doing such a wonderful job of covering all the, you know, the community events and also things that are my, not only milestone but that have an impact on the community so guys please keep watching desi plaza tv <laughs> yeah they are no truly you're doing a wonderful job so really appreciate it really appreciate it tripti and definitely we can work together to make this community a wonderful place as well as bringing more movies for pleasure so let's keep watching and this is anu again from desi plaza thank you tripti for joining thank you so much thank you